Hi, my name is Terrence Banks, and this is my capstone presentation for my EDS program in Instructional Technology at Kennesaw State. The title of my project is Videos and Math for Remediation and Tutorial. A little bit of background of who I am. Again, my name is Terrence Banks. I'm currently a teacher at Newton High School in Covington, Georgia, which is in the Newton County School System. I'm currently a certified 6 through 12 mathematics teacher. I am currently have a working as the ISS coordinator for the school. Again, I am a student in the Instructional Technology Educational Specialist Program at Kennesaw State University. Expected graduation of spring 2017, and this is my capstone presentation. At Newton High School, we have a problem. We have a problem in our ninth and 10th grade algebra classes and geometry classes. Here is an illustration of the background of our problem. Here is our achievement on performance targets as listed on the Georgia Department of Education website. Your flags can be three colors, green meaning that you met the participation rate, the state performance target, and the subgroup performance target rate. Yellow means that you've met one or two of these areas but are lacking in the other. And red says that you met the participation rate, but you did not meet the state or subgroup performance targets. Here at Newton High School, as you can see, we have all red flags in this category with P except for one, which means that in all of our areas, we met our participation rate, but we did not meet either the state or subgroup performance targets, which means our scores came in lower than what the state wanted us to have and what our performance target was. This is for ninth grade coordinate algebra for 2015 and 2016. If I change the slide and then go to our analytic geometry scores, you will see that we have the same issue. In geometry for 2015-2016, our subgroups once again met the participation rate, but they did not meet either the state or subgroup performance targets. Well, let me give you a little more background information on Newton High School. At Newton High School, we have 2,359 students grades 9 through 12. Our school consists of 2,000 students that are African American, 315 that are white, 182 are Hispanic, 88 multiracial, 20 Asian, and 3 American Indian. If you have noticed, in addition to our kids struggling in our math classes, here our attendance at our school is also a problem. If you can tell from our 2015-2016 year, only 51.4% of our students missed five days or less. That means an alarming and whopping 48.6% of our students missed six or more days due to absences and 13% of those being 15 or more. So for my capstone dealing with is there any way that we can help our students who are struggling in math and missing school? Well, did the literature point us in the right direction? There were four studies that stood very important to us. Two dealt with the use of Khan Academy, which our teachers had started to use to help our students who had missed class or needed extra help in math. Studies done on Khan Academy most recently tell us that using technology to deliver R as a supplement to conventional instruction has changed the landscape of American education. Students have also said that it was emphasized by students that the approach helped them visualize the concepts, promote retention of knowledge, and foster ease and learning of content when dealing with Khan Academy. Could videos really be the answer that we're looking for? In our third study dealing with instructor generated video lectures at the college level, it says students who could view examples from videos when struggling perform better overall than students that can have to use the reading examples from my math lab. Finally, when talking about flipped learning possibilities, the video possibilities of watching video, the results reveal that this approach, flipped learning, can help enhance underperforming and high ability students' mathematical performance.
Let us to, this led me to three capstone questions. Number one, do students learn better from video tutorials of new information or just by a copy of notes and examples? This was directly related to all our kids who miss class and need help making up and getting notes. The second question asks us, is the student level of self-efficacy affected more by review video tutorials prior to a test or by using the standard study guide? Did our students who watch videos before they took a test or before they did an assessment, did they feel their chances were better if they watched the video? And number three, what are our students' thoughts on the level of understanding of a topic before and after they created video lessons? Of course, for the students who are doing the video lessons, did they reach a high level of Bloom's taxonomy was our question. So, here was our objectives for my capstone. I had three main objectives. One was to create a database of student-produced tutorial videos. Number two was to share the videos for teachers via countywide safari montage that allowed the teachers and students access to the videos to study from any time at home and to share with each other. And number three, produce worksheets that will allow the students and teachers to remediate themselves. Something that the students can use after they did the videos to help answer questions about where they were in real time and then seek teachers if they needed help for understanding. My methodology included participants. There were 20 participants, four teachers, three were general education math teachers, one who had a co-teacher, a special education teacher, and we used 16 students from their classes to create the videos. As far as my data collection, I did one-on-one -on -one interviews with my teachers. I did focus group style one-on-one -on -one interviews with the students. We did observations in the class, and I created a survey, like it scale and scored by average. One for disagree, one for strongly disagree, two for disagree, three for neutral, four for agree, and five for strongly agree. The evaluation was done as follows. The survey was given to teachers and students. I conducted one-on-one -on -one interviews with teachers. I conducted focus group style interviews with students. I scored the, I scored their data by organizing the data, using code words to code it, creating a frequency table of the data coded in categories, identifying the important things from the data, and then interpreting that data into the things that we can understand. What did our results say? Well, from our survey, these were three things that stood out from the teachers. 4.3, students who missed class did better watching videos and just getting notes. Teachers agreed with that statement. It helped students who needed better reinforcement of content, which is at 3.7, which puts it close to the agree level, and it made scaffolding easier. Teachers also agree with that with a 4.1 score. How did our students feel based on the survey? They enjoyed learning from their peers as opposed to a teacher always at 3.5, which means that it was neutral to agree when they in, on that um, area. They gave them a chance to work from home more because of video, which was at 3.8. Most students agreed with that. And it helped when they miss class and only receive notes. Uh, students agree with that too, on average. Well, when we put our words in the code from our interviews, here's what we got from teachers. It was easier to say watch videos than to reteach, and notes alone weren't helpful. That was the main codes that we got. Our conclusion was that videos did more for the students than other methods. What's next? Maybe the need for more basic videos to go with certain examples based on the standards of area. What did our students say from the focus group? They preferred to see the steps being taught through. More video on the subjects, the better. We concluded from that that peer-to-peer -peer videos were helpful if there were more than one, and that we needed to beef up the videos in weak areas based on the data. Here is a sample video that one of our students did using Educurations.
Likewise, we will hear to show student video that was done one-on-one -on -one with me later on in class, students who came in to help do extra videos so that it would be a part of the process that their students were learning. What was our overall theme and where is our future going from here? Students, videos make the class seem personal. Number two, access is great via online class site or teacher web page. Our school has moved to the Canvas Learning Management System. They felt like they had the classroom anywhere, 21st century learning. For teachers, they were able to use the videos for blended learning that helps with differentiated instruction and that videos directly related to the standards, which sometimes Khan Academy did not. What would we like to go in the future? Add more subjects, geometry, algebra two, and pre-cal. And we have two other high schools in the county. We would love to get them involved. Thank you. This has been my capstone presentation. Remediation, videos, mathematics, and tutorial. Thank you.